What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the PPSH specifically, as well as, um, you know, just the SMG meta in general and where things sit right now. I did a bunch of testing on the PPSH today um, just to see where it sat after all the changes that they made to it in the last, I don't know, probably two or two or three weeks. Uh, they've made a ton of changes to it. So um, we'll talk about that. I'll show you some recommended builds and how I think the gun should be used um, and compare it to some of the ARs too. And uh, pretty much just give you a basic SMG rundown of, of where things sit right now. But as always, if you guys like the content, consider uh, dropping a like, comment, and sub if you want to see more of this content. Uh, helps keep the website up and helps me keep doing this. Um, but let's, uh, let's jump into it and I will show you what I think of the PPSH. All right, so let's quickly talk about the base stats. Um, they've been changing this gun a lot since it came out, so I retested base stats today. Um, I retested open bolt delay, ADS time, movement speeds, reload time, everything. Um, so the newest values are up on the site now. I can say that um, when they were, it was probably like a week or so ago, they removed the open bolt delay entirely. When I tested it, there was no open bolt delay, but the ADS time was increased a bunch. So the ADS time was up almost at 200 milliseconds. Um, and then when I retested today, the ADS time was significantly lower down 172 milliseconds, but it does now have a 33 millisecond open bolt delay. So it has less open bolt delay than like a Mac 10, for example, but it has um, similar ADS times and still really good TTKs. So we'll talk about TTKs and stuff as we get into that. But movement speed's fantastic. One of the best in the game. Reload time's pretty good. Um, sprint to fire and tactical sprint to fire is just standard for an SMG. Uh, but it does have that open bolt delay. So keep in mind the amount of time it would take to fire would actually be your, your sprint to fire plus open bolt delay. So keep that in mind. Um, hip fire standard for an SMG. ADS movement super fast. 3.3 um, meters per second, that's that's one of the fastest in the game again. Full velocity is standard for a Cold War um, SMG. And then, uh, I guess that's it on this page, but we'll talk about TTKs here in a second. Alright, so on to the TTKs. Uh, let's start with just chest shots, 250 health, including open bolt delay. Um, so, you'll see on this chart that even with the open bolt delay, with chest shots and stomach shots, stomach, stomach and chest are the same on uh, SMGs. So this would be the same for stomach shots. Uh, the PPSH has the best TTK out of these four SMGs. Um, if we add one that has like a fast time to kill, so let's add, uh, let's add the Modern Warfare MP5 has a very good time to kill. Same chart, you'll see Modern Warfare MP5 has half the range, but uh, kills quite a bit faster. And by quite a bit, I mean about 40 milliseconds. And then 40 milliseconds again is what separates the PPSH from the slowest of these guns, which would be the LC-10. Um, it's not a ton. Honestly, 40 milliseconds is not a ton, but it is something to keep in mind. If you both shoot at the same time, you both hit your shots, obviously the faster TTK wins. So it's something to think about. Um, beyond just the uh, TTKs, though, like I was talking about, it has some of the best movement speeds in the game. So we'll go look at that in a second. Um, but before we do that, let's finish the conversation about uh, TTKs. So let's look at headshots. So you're going to see on headshots that the AK-74U actually has a fantastic TTK. Um, I think the 74U is pretty solid choice, actually. It has really good headshot and extremities TTKs. Um, so if you miss any of those chest shots, the AK-74U can be a pretty S-tier um, SMG. I really like the SMG meta right now, just as an overall comment on the balance. I think it's in a really good spot. Um, let's go look at extremities. So extremities, again, the 74U basically ties the Modern Warfare MP5. Uh, for the fastest, and the PPSH is just kind of in the middle of these. So it's the third fastest there on extremity shots, and then on headshots, it's one of the slower ones, actually. So it's not like it has an insane TTK. It does have a very good TTK if you hit chest and stomach shots. Um, but if you miss those, there are some better options out there. So keep that in mind. Um, it's not like OP in every sense, but uh, it it's just pretty well balanced, and it is one of the better SMGs, I think, just because of those chest and stomach TTKs, as well as the uh the base stats so if we look at the the summary stats here ppsh ak-74u mac 10 lc10 modern warfare mp5 uh ppsh and mac 10 are going to have the fastest ads times 172 milliseconds at 167 that's because they tend to try to balance having an open bolt delay with having good ads times it seems like it should be matched with sprint to fire times but for some reason it's balanced with uh uh the ads times so mac 10 has more open bolt delay, it's like 50, 50 milliseconds or something like that. 
whereas the PPSH is only 33 milliseconds, so the MAC-10 has a little bit better ADS time because of that. Um, sprint to fire times are all the same. The reason the MAC-10 shows higher is because when I measured this, that included the open bolt delay, so I need to go change that. Um, I need to go fix that, but they're all the same. It's just that PPSH and MAC-10 do have that open bolt delay, so it does actually take a little longer to fire, but it still shouldn't be included in the sprint to fire time because when you include sprint to fire time on the chart, if you turn sprint to fire time on and you have open bolt delay on, to add to the chart on TTK charts, it's going to double that number. So I need to just remove it from sprint to fire time. Um, then movement speeds, like I said, max is the fastest in the game at 5.08 meters per second and 3.36 ADS movement. So you can see that the, the PPSH over here on the left at 5.03 and 3.33 is basically the same as the MAC-10, which is crazy. Um, you can get ridiculously fast movement speeds at the PPSH, just like you can with the MAC-10 and the Milano. Um, Modern Warfare MP5 is actually up there too at 4.98 meters per second um, and 2.96 which is surprising but the difference is when you put attachments on the gun and for Modern Warfare guns it's going to get slowed down a lot so yes the base value is pretty high for the Modern Warfare MP5 but it's going to get slowed down a lot more by the normal attachments you would use um, hip fire is going to be the same on all of them uh, same same average hip fire you know 7.5 kilopixels squared uh, bullet velocity <laughs> I have not rechecked the 74 use bullet velocity. This was what it was when it came out. So I need to recheck that real fast soon. Um, I think all of them are probably 350 now. I think they recently patched the bullfrog down to 350 as well. So I suspect the 74 u is also 350, but I need to recheck it. Uh, so that's pretty standard across the board. MP5 still has that 537. So the MP5 is still a little bit faster. So that's a, that's a plus for the MP5, definitely. Um, and then reload times. They're all about two seconds, except the MP5. MP5 has a really slow reload time at 2.8. Um, I'm not including every SMG in this comparison. I mean, I'm sure people are going to ask me why I don't talk about the Bullfrog and uh, Cold War MP5 and things like that. And it's just, I'm just comparing common guns to the PPSH so you know where it sits uh, in, terms of, in terms of stats. So uh, that's why I'm not covering everything, just some guns. As far as builds go, there's a lot of different ways you can build Cold War guns effectively. Um, so I'll give you a few different ones here. So if you wanted something that was really fast ADS, really good sprint to fire times, um, really fast movement, you can go sound suppressor. Uh, patrol grip gives you the most movement speed. Uh, sprinting movement speed is like 7% almost gain, which is just crazy. This is what you use for the super speed build. Um, so this would be like an ADSing build. Still, we'd, we'd use a Raider stock. The irons are actually pretty good on this gun now. And I actually, I actually love the 71 round drum. It shoots fast. Having 71 bullets is awesome, especially if you're playing trios and quads. Obviously, if you're playing solos, duos, you could drop to 55, or if you're playing solos, you might not even need to use a mag, but I love using the 71 round drum. I feel like it comes in handy. Uh, and then for maximum movement, we're going to use Tiger Team Spotlight, as my video yesterday showed, and this would be a really super ridiculously fast ADS, fast TTK, fast movement, fast strafe speed, fast ADS strafe speed. It's going to be horrible in hipfire, which is one big downside of this, but... Um, it's a super fun build, and if you want to extend that damage range a little bit more instead of hurting it, Sound Suppressor hurts your damage range a little bit, you can switch over to the Groove Suppressor. You're still going to have good enough TTKs to run this, so I personally, mm, I'm torn. So the Sound Suppressor does help with Sprint to Fire times a little bit, which is one of the big benefits of using it on an SMG now, especially an SMG that has open bolt delay, because you need to overcome that open bolt delay. Um, so really, either one of these would be a great option. Groove Suppressor, if you want a little bit extra range. Uh, sound Suppressor, if you want a little bit better ADS times and better Sprint to Fire times. And then another build that would be really good would be more of like a hip fire build. So PPSH has a fast fire rate and a big magazine, which means it's really good for hip fire. Um, so this would be a pretty great hip fire build here. So we've got 5 milliwatt laser for best hip fire, still the best hip fire attachment. We've got Bruiser Grip for both movement speed and hip fire. Marathon stock, because we, like I said before, want to bring that sprint to fire dime down, especially, especially on guns that have open bolt delays, because you have to overcome that open bolt delay uh, on top of the standard sprint to fire time to shoot. So it's really important on MAC-10 and uh, PPSH and any gun that has open bolt delay to reduce your sprint to fire time. Um, and then because we have the sprint to fire time from the marathon stock, I think we can get away with not using the sound suppressor and just switch over to the main screw suppressor, which gives you more damage range, more bullet velocity, and a little bit of recoil control. So this is going to be a really, really great hip fire, and it's really not going to be too bad ADSing either, because it's not like a no-stock Modern Warfare gun where it hurts your, your recoil. Marathon stock's not going to hurt your recoil at all. 
Um, so we're going to have relatively good recoil, really good bullet velocity, really good range because of the Groove Suppressor, and fantastic hip fire and a huge mag. So I think this is a really, really good all-around build here. Um, if you wanted something that was more uh, ADS, so maybe more like with using it with a sniper or something, um, I would probably swap out and go back to Raider Stock. So this is going to be, again, a non-hip fire build, but this would be a sniper support build. Um, I would take off Gru. I'd probably put on Spetsnaz grip. So this is basically the field agent grip. This helps with recoil quite a bit. Slows you down in movement speed, but because we have the Raider Stock on there, we can kind of get away with that. Um, I actually think the irons are pretty good. Um, so you could get away with running a barrel. So there'd be a couple good options. Um, bullet velocity barrel would be very good. Um, damage range barrel would be very good. Granted, these are both going to slow your mobility down a little bit. So it's something you kind of want to think about. And like I said, I personally tried to run this as a sniper support, and I just couldn't get it to work. But I've never been an SMG sniper support guy. There's a lot of people that ran the Mac 10 with Car 98 and uh, just loved that. And I could never get behind it. I always used an AR. Um, so that could just be why for me it just doesn't work but it might if you're a guy that or a girl that uses uh an smg as a sniper support i think ppsh is great um i think a barrel or maybe a um a five milliwatt or uh the ember sighting point there's so many good options for this this fifth attachment slot i personally would probably either use uh an optic or a five milliwatt laser just to help my hip fire because i love hip firing i think hip fire is great um it can really help you up close uh, so if you wanted this to be pretty good all around, 5 milliwatt, pop that on there. It's going to be much better up close for hip fire. Um, and then optics, I always use the mill stop because it has a little bit more zoom. For a sniper support gun, I always use the mill stop over the microflex just because it has a little bit more zoom than the microflex. And I feel like there's certain situations where people are a little further away. Um, I'd like to be able to see them better, so I like the mill stop. Um, so this would be a pretty standard like sniper support build here. People ask me all the time why I don't use a barrel, and it's just simply because... I think there's another attachment that's worth more on Cold War guns. The barrels don't do that much in a lot of cases. Um, I don't like to increase my recoil with the task force, so there's there's just a lot of reasons. It's hard to answer that question because it's just like, well, I just think something else is more important, and that's all it is. All right, everybody. Well, that was a overview of the PPSH and where I think it fits in the meta. Like I said, as an all-around SMG, I think it's one of the absolute best right now. It's less accurate than the LC-10 and the MAC-10. But it has fantastic movement speeds, fantastic mobility, really good TTKs, better TTKs than them up close. Um, so I think it's a, it's like a, the, a great SMG. It it's, kills fast up close, but it's not super easy to control, so it's not crazy accurate at range like the LC10, the Mac10. Um, doesn't kill quite as fast as like the MP5s and stuff. But overall, it's a great all-around SMG right now, and one of the one of the absolute best. But pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. So thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.